So hello friends, a very warm welcome to exam day. So today we are starting something very special. कुछ special हम start करने जा रहे हैं. We have started the series of uh, the interview जिसमें हम मिलेंगे और जानेंगे उन लोगों के बारे में जो हम सभी के लिए एक inspiration है. So today this is the first video of uh, the series और हमारे साथ हैं Mr. Ravi Kapoor, IRS. Thank you, Arpit. Thank you for having me and for that general, very nice introduction. I'm very happy to be here, and I've been seeing exam day or बहुत अच्छा content. It's been a very, I think, useful experience for your viewers. I'll happy to I'll be happy to contribute in any way I can. So, sir is a multifaceted personality, as आप लोगों को शायद ना पता हो. Sir is a sports person. He's a civil servant. He's a writer and a friend. so sir uh, i would like to start uh, with your story aap jo hamare viewers hain aap unhe bataiye ki aap uh, aapka schooling college and you were a national level sports person aap civil services mein aapne taiyari karne ki kaise sochi kaise aaye so please let us yeah. Uh, yeah. walk through your story sir yeah definitely uh, it's not a typical story to be honest it was a, a difficult story to begin with when i was in school to main academics mein interested nahi tha it was the last thing i wanted to do and i didn't understand what was going on and i didn't understand why i was being taught the things that they were talking about and i just took, could not relate to it maybe i had adhd maybe i had dyslexia i don't know but i mm-hmm. never performed never okay zero much to the okay. uh, irritation of my parents so but mm-hmm. anyway so this the, the typical pressure which people have in the middle class i had also uh, mm-hmm. engineering college and either that or medical or something like that but i was not interested in any of these things to be honest and uh, i made this very clear to my parents that also is something that they did not enjoy but i was clear that i wanted to be in athletics i wanted to be an athlete okay and started off with uh, tennis and football i was good at those but then i found my true passion in powerlifting and bodybuilding this happened when i was in college i mean i i took admission and i did engineering but ma mera man nahi tha usme to be honest i was not enjoying that subject and that environment at all i wanted to do something else so i did and i did uh, uh, professional bodybuilding and powerlifting for many years Mm-hmm. and i represented india also in uh, some championships uh, yeah. one of you medals i won the asia asian asian bronze medal for india in the asian powerlifting championship and quite a few of these over the years uh, but jo jo important cheez uh, batane wali hai viewers ke liye bhi aur mm-hmm. younger logon ke liye relatively younger logon ke liye wo ye hai ki uh, ye trajectory kafi turbulent thi mushkil thi क्योंकि जब मैंने स्पोर्ट्स परस्यू किया तो कुछ सालों के बाद मुझे रियलाइज हुआ कि फ्यूचर इसमें क्रिएट करना आसान नहीं है बहुत मुश्किल है फाइनेंशियली भी मुश्किल है राइट right. और कंपटीशन भी बहुत है और बहुत सारे ऐसे फैक्टर्स हैं जो आप अकेले हैंडल नहीं कर सकते तो उस वक्त मुझे रियलाइज हुआ कि फिर ये पढ़ाई के लिए इतना स्ट्रेस क्यों किया जाता है मिडिल क्लास में या कहीं पर भी Why? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's because of both a simple or sida ek tarika. There is a way to get from in life from one place to the other and improve your life. If you're if you're good at academics, and trust me that it is a lot easier than anything else. Studying is easy as far as yeah. other things are concerned. Bad ke sirf pannna hota hai. So this became clear, you know, after mm-hmm. a long hard lesson. And then I started. But I think our schools, jo schooling. वाला जो फेज होता है उसमें जो टीचिंग मेथोडोलॉजी है उसको इस तरीके से शायद कराता कराया गया है हमारे टाइम में भी कि लोगों को लगता है स्टडिंग इज डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज जो बुक्स वगैरह हम पढ़ते हैं हमारे टाइम पर भी ये होता था कि आपको आंसर्स जो लिखने हैं दैट शुड बी यू नो यू नो डिक्टेटेड बाई योर टीचर आप अगर एग्जैक्टली वो लिखोगे यूल गेट फुल मार्क्स या फिर वन ऑफ दस मार्क्स और अगर थोड़ा सा भी आप अलग लिखोगे इवन इफ इट इज राइट तो आपका मार्क्स कटेंगे 
कैन बी यू नो इट अब लग yeah, ऐसा लगता है कि शायद ये उतना सही नहीं था या yeah, या yeah, डेफिनेटली और uh, एक एक ऐसा सिस्टम क्रिएट हो गया है आई थिंक किसी ने डिलीवरेटली नहीं किया इट जस्ट है I get nightmares, and I just uh, I did not have a good time at it. I hated it, and um, uh, you won't believe it now. It now it is it is math that I am interested in mathematics. Okay. I want to I want to understand uh, uh, higher mathematics, uh, how it works, and I do some uh, I do readings in mathematics quite generally. And if ever I wish uh, I get the time to, definitely I'd like to pursue a master's in it. I don't know, but 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 that's the change which has happened over years, and that's exactly why because of the reason that you said, the system was different. Yes. The subject hmm. remained the same. Hmm. Because the rectification was not so good, they were not able to perform very well in exam, as far as your marks are concerned. Yeah. So that yeah. that was an issue. Yeah. and so, definitely i think okay. uh, that turns into an advantage when you go into the civil services exactly mm-hmm. that factor mm-hmm. aapke favor mein ho jata hai right. because wo uh, sara conceptual uh, focus hota hai or if you are somebody who likes to understand things rather than just memorize them immediately you have an advantage yes yeah. that is it so sir uh, aapko ye kab realize hua any particular incident jab aapne socha ho- Okay, okay. I want to go to civil services, or I want to prepare for civil services. Any yes. particular incident, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Something happened actually one of these days. Uh, so I was good at bodybuilding, powerlifting. Mm-hmm. I was invited to play rugby by a local okay. club. Okay, okay. Believe it or not, rugby is very much there in India, although uh-huh. it's not popular, but uh-huh. people are doing that seriously. so these yeah. clubs they invited me and i was also i got interested so i was selected in uh, 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 to represent india in mm-hmm. one of their rugby matches okay there okay. was a there was a there was a position available for me they wanted me to do that and i was very happy to do that but what happened was that during one of these practice matches i got injured very badly okay massive massive injury uh, on my face i had my i had my cheekbone uh completely crushed and so i had to go to the operation theater mm-hmm. and that incident that day it made me realize that sports ka koi bharosa nahi hai uh-huh. Uh-huh. if something right. breaks mm-hmm. the body mein ho hi sakta hai na it's just a machine it can happen any time right 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 then you are gone and and so is all your all your hard work mm-hmm. so that made me uh sit and think ki boss now what is the next move because i can't do this all my life okay and so that day in fact i i i googled i remember i googled mm-hmm. ies coaching institute that was my search yeah and it all started from there okay so it was there somewhere in your mind before that also well yes and again honestly what prompted me to for the civil services instead of anything else mm-hmm. was that I was not employable anywhere else. I was a, a bodybuilder and a powerlifter, so I was employable in a gym, right? Mm-hmm. Basically, and I wasn't going to get a nice uh, uh, executive job, and nobody was going to give it to me because I was not qualified, out of touch with the field, uh, and also with the lack of interest. So, I knew that I would not get a job, at least not a good one. A UPSC doesn't doesn't discriminate. Anybody can come in. right 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 even yeah, even people who not so that that i think uh, forced me to you know consider ki ab what can i do the question was what can i do not what i want to do so what can i do i can do upsc because i meet the eligibility criteria mm-hmm. so i i thought that this is the best thing if i can do this then everything will be erased and forgotten 
mm. and nobody will care how bad I was in academics. And so that's how I got started. So this, in, this itself is an inspiration for lacks of aspirants. Because uh, many aspirants hote, unko yehi lagta hai ki, like we were, we are average in studies, we are average, we can do it, we can't do it, we can't do it. Plus, there is a little bit of probability that people think about it. Right? Hmm. Uncertain, hoti hai. uncertainty is always there, this factor. So, ye cheez, yeah. ki, you were very much there in sports, you were playing at the national level, and after that, you started preparation. Hmm. So, sir, when did you start a preparation? Like, at what age? What was the age? I was, I was in 1991. Hmm. Right? Yeah. Because uh, 21 is the age when you shift from junior category to senior category in bodybuilding and powerlifting. Uh-huh. So that year I had competed in a championship. It was Mr. Delhi. I won that. And then I was supposed to go in nationals and I decided and then this incident happened. And so it changed my entire life. I never went to those uh, bodybuilding nationals, although I went to powerlifting championships. So then it happened, I was exactly 21 and I cleared the exam in my uh, second attempt. I, in the first attempt, I cleared the interview. I gave the interview. The second one I cleared and the third one also I cleared. Yeah, cleared okay. it. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you cleared civil services three times in a row? Uh, yes, technically, if you consider mains exam, then yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So... Uh, can an average student or an average aspirant clear this exam? Yes, absolutely. Because absolutely. I am living proof of that. This question is in the minds of so many yes. aspirants. Yes. Okay. Yes, they can. They can. And uh, again, the interesting part is that what makes them average, the, the, the label that we give them for average is exactly the thing which is going to help them here. It's a strategic advantage, I think, to be an average person is because your mind has not been completely conditioned by that education system. Mm-hmm. The fact right. that you were average means there is something you didn't like in it, didn't get. Because mm. average, ka jo, aapne jo label bola, uh, wo mm. I think school se hi logon par, par laga diya jata hai. Okay, uski percentage nahi aari, so he is an average person. Seventy percent, twelfth mein he is scoring seventy percent. He is an average uh, person. Yeah. Even some of my friends are there. Unke schooling mein, they, they were scoring 70% or kuch log te 60%. They cleared IIT JE. Yeah. So, yeah. kiska kaha par interest hai ya kis tarikhe se wo aata hai? Exactly. Even in IIT JE, wo ratification aur ye sab cheeza nahi chalti hai wa pe. So, that is exactly the case. So, sir, humare uh, jo viewers hai, humare jo readers hai, काफी सारे क्वेश्चंस उन्होंने पूछे हैं उन्होंने भेजे हैं सो मैं आपसे कुछ क्वेश्चंस इस चीज में पूछूंगा सो शुड एस्पिरेंट्स लिसन टू टॉपर्स इतने सारे जो टॉपर्स हैं वो यू नो यूट्यूब पर हर जगह आते हैं अपनी स्ट्रेटजी बताते हैं सो आपको क्या लगता है कि वो जो स्ट्रेटजी है वो aspirant ke liye kitna kaam karegi because every person is different every personality is different yes exactly i think you answered the question half of it mm-hmm. uh, they are different and uh, so i personally did not benefit from looking at the toppers except for the fact that jab maine unko dekha interact kara so i realized ki there is no difference as such you know mm-hmm. this can be done they okay. appear to be ordinary to me and the fact ha- the fact is that after a certain level, the top ke 5-10% contenders are mm-hmm. more or less one level. Pe hi hote hai sare. Okay. Uh-huh. Somebody ends up topping, the other person doesn't, but they are all good. But that is something I need to emphasize. A mm-hmm. topper is not somebody who is an average guy at all. Okay. I'm saying that there are other above average people also in that pool. Why one person gets a single digit rank and the other person doesn't get a name in the list mm-hmm. has got nothing to do with capability as long as they're in the top two, two, three thousand people. I okay. think uh-huh. the results then 
if that was not the case, then why would the results vary instantly uh, over the year? One day you do, one year you don't create the prelims, the next year you're, you're at rank right. five. That right. should not be happening if it was a logical progression. Exactly, exactly. So, so your job, I think, as an aspirant, you should get to that top two, top two three thousand category hmm. and not worry about the rest at all. Raste nikal jayenge, ho jayenge cheeze, most likely, kuch na kuch aapke liye achha hi hoga, agar aap us level tak apna aapko le gaya ho. So, does luck has a role to play in the process? I think that the luck ha- that luck has a role to play on those few examination hours. Something does happen there, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't think luck plays plays a role in the process as much as much as you know people believe because the process is within your control for the most part. Okay. 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 अपने आप को बहुत सॉलिड कंटेंडर बनाया जा सकता है टॉप की 2 3000 में आया जा सकता है रिलायबली लक कभी-कभी काम हां उन एग्जाम्स में एग्जाम के अंदर कभी-कभी हो जाती हैं कुछ प्रॉब्लम्स जैसे एक बारी ऑन द सेकंड अटेम्प्ट आई वाज क्वाइट कॉन्फिडेंट बिकॉज़ मींस आई आई हैड अ गुड गुड हैंडल ऑन माय ऑप्शनल एंड जीएस एंड एवरीथिंग तो आई न्यू दैट इट शुड नॉट बी अ प्रॉब्लम but okay. in public administration, I scored above about around 60% that year, the, the, the year previous, pre- previous to that. And in the next um, year, uh, there are two papers at that time, paper one, paper two. Paper one, I scored more than 60%. And in okay. paper two, I got like 30, 40, 30 or 40 marks out of 300. Mm-hmm. That okay. made absolutely no sense. I, I had 200, 200 marks in that same paper in the previous year. Okay. Unexplainable. I can't explain it. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't make that yeah, mistake. Drastic. Some, yeah. Yeah. Something something must have happened. I don't know what. So, one thing is luck that is not in your control. But I don't think about it because even despite that, I got a rank. Right. So, you have to see this thing. That you have to see this Mm-hmm. Uh, luck bhi bhi ho hai. in one of the attempts I, I wrote an essay on the completely wrong topic uh-huh. at least 100 marks are lost because of that mistake Okay. I don't know if it was luck or mistake but uh-huh. haan, un important moments mein, un, jo kuch moments hote hai na exam mein, kabhi kabhi they make the difference right, right. Okay. So, un se bachna hota hai. So what, what were your optionals, sir? One is public. Uh, okay. Yes. Public administration, then psychology. Okay. I had psychology. Then I studied a lot of psychology. I cleared the exam also with psychology, but then I got very bored with it because it had already been done. So I switched mm-hmm. to philosophy. Oh. And only because I was bored with it, honestly, with psychology, I wanted to learn something new, something of my interest. Then I learned that I did philosophy and I cleared the exam with philosophy. And uh, so that was actually the reason I always kept clearing it, this exam. I was loving it, the process. Mm-hmm. The, okay. the study part of it, the academic part of it, I was loving it. I enjoyed it. Curiosity, which is the thing. And it is always you know, underrated. Yes. Underrate karte hamesha curiosity ko, but it is a very big factor. Very, very certainly. So, uh, how did sports play a role in your preparation, in your, uh, with your mindset? Yeah. Because you were a sports person. I think that's a very good question. Very good question. And it is part of the story which remains untold, usually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People usually see a very nice progression. This guy was in sports, then he went into this. No, right. it was not like that. Uh-huh. This experience of sports had given me certain advantages, which other people don't have. That helped me. Uh-huh. I was I, I am not brilliant in any way. Mm-hmm. It was just that I used what I had to my advantage. So, if you a competitive sport, you compete, then 
उसमें यू हैव टू पुश योर सेल्फ यू हैव नो चॉइस एक्जेक्टली एक्जेक्टली और डिसिप्लिन में भी रहना पड़ता है तो आपको हार्डवर्क की आदत हो जाती है स्पोर्ट्स में एक तो डिसिप्लिन की हो जाती है और तो और स्पोर्ट्स काफी हद तक ट्रांसपेरेंट होते हैं फीडबैक द फीडबैक मैकेनिज्म इज वेरी क्लियर वेरी क्लियर स्पेशली इन अ स्पोर्ट लाइक पावर लिफ्टिंग इफ इट्स 200 किलोस यू विल इदर लिफ्ट इट और यू विल नॉट लिफ्ट इट ओके यू नो दिस बिकम्स वेरी क्लियर द मोमेंट ऑफ ट्रुथ इज द फैक्ट डिड यू परफॉर्म और नॉट दैट बिकेम वेरी क्लियर आई इंटरनलाइज दैट हम्म आप अपने आप को बेवकूफ नहीं बनाते बिल्कुल बिल्कुल तो वो ऑनेस्टी मेरे को स्पोर्ट्स ने दी वो मेरे को बहुत काम आई और एक कॉम्पिटेटिवनेस तो होती है एंड डिसिप्लिन डिसिप्लिन आपने जो बोला डिसिप्लिन आई थिंक इज व्हाट मोस्ट ऑफ द एस्पिरेंट्स लैक यस आई डोंट ब्लेम देम फॉर इट आई डोंट ब्लेम देम बिकॉज ये एग्जाम डिफिकल्ट है अपने आप को डिसिप्लिन में रखना क्योंकि हमारे स्टेक्स नहीं इन्वॉल्व होते अगर कॉलेज में हम एक लेवल की डिसिप्लिन नहीं रखते तो यू कैन इधर गेट सस्पेंडेड और बैड कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस हैपन इसमें अनलेस यू आर वेरी डेस्परेट आपके स्टेक्स जुड़े हुए हैं यू हैव नो रीजन टू बी डिसिप्लिन फॉर अ ईयर और सो राइट कोई मैकेनिज्म नहीं है आपको एक डायरेक्शन में लगाए रखने का इफ यू आर इन अ जॉब If you are in a job, like you know, understand that your agenda is set by other people. You have no choice there. Mm-hmm. You have to do what you have to do. Get up, get there in time. Do what you need to do, and only then can you get out. UPSC exam is not like that. You mm-hmm. are on your own. You yeah. can come in, get out at any time. The only thing which matters is one result on one fine day, which will come out. If you are there, good. If you are not there, Either try again or then it's not for you. This is the issue. Right, right, right. So is your um, this long hard journey of the going through the process and you went for civil services thrice. Mm. Is it worth in the end? Mm. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Even without getting the job, it is worth it. I would say. Hmm. If job नहीं भी मिली होती और नहीं भी हुआ होता क्लियर कुछ ना कुछ अच्छा इससे निकल के आता मुझे ये पता है बिकॉज इट ओपन माई माइंड ओके जो कि बिल्कुल क्लोज था एडमिटेडली एंड mm-hmm. uh, मुझे पता भी नहीं था कि लाइफ में uh, इतना मजा आ सकता है किसी इतनी सिंपल सी चीज से पढ़ाई से किताबें पढ़ के आई हैड नो भागते रहते हैं भागते रहते हैं उससे क्योंकि वो वो बहुत डिस्टेस्ट क्रिएट कर देते हैं उससे वो बहुत मजेदार चीज है एक्चुअली में mm-hmm. उसे इट इज इट इज लाइक वाचिंग डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग ओनली द फैक्ट इज दैट आफ्टर डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज आर गोइंग ऑन इन योर हेड व्हाइल यू आर रीडिंग एंड इट हैपेंस आफ्टर अ व्हाइल इमीडिएटली आई थिंक इट हैपेंस ऑटोमेटिकली यू डोंट हैव टू बी स्मार्ट यू डोंट हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी इंटेलिजेंट योर ब्रेन डज दिस इट गेट्स यूज्ड टू रीडिंग you will look at the black and white text on a page it will convert it into images automatic mm-hmm. so this then becomes something you look forward to right you build stories and narratives i did that for history and i mm-hmm. did that for polity whatever i could do it for and I, i that 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 i think made the difference every year when i gave the exam it, it was clearly reflected in the answers because even in coaching classes the teachers were remarking and constantly they were pointing this out to me that these answers are different mm. and you are writing uh, at a better level uh, because you seem to have some better understanding conceptual understanding okay ye wo bolte the us waqt aur wo i didn't know what that means but wo result mein aaya wo it reflected that yes mm. ye jo subjects hain uh, like jo bhi uh, general studies ke subjects hain ya optional hain mm. Mm-hmm. there is a there is some logical process which follows but ek jo paper hota hai essay ka paper usme like jo ek general perception hai ki cheeze bahut hi zyada subjective hai to kya aise bhi logically kiya ja sakta hai us process ko follow karke ya koi dusra approach jo aspirants follow kar sake 
Yeah, I, that's a very good question. And I think, uh, again, you answered half of it yourself. There is a way. Essay is not random, nor is it objective, nor mm. is it subjective. The essay can be tackled like any other paper. There is a system to it. There is a way to do it. And uh, I mean, I, I tried to do that. I put it in my book uh, on essay and answer writing, the ultimate cheat book. And basically that system is called SLGO. And that is the essay generation algorithm. Mm -hmm. You see, the fact is that the UPSC asks essays of a particular kind. Okay. The topics are different. The mm -hmm. topics can be either philosophical or economic, but the essays are of the same type, fundamentally speaking. Okay. There are two types of essays, broadly speaking. There's a personal essay. Mm -hmm. Let's say I ask, you ask me uh, about uh, myself mm -hmm. or you ask me to mention a few incidents in my life which shaped my life. So I have to write an essay on that. That's a personal essay. College applications may requirement hoti hai, typically uh, mm -hmm. when you go when you uh, plan on applying yeah, to these foreign universities mm -hmm. the UPSC is asking only analytical types they're not asking the other mm -hmm. types they never will they never will no. because uh, they are interested in gauging something else or syllabus mein wo clearly bata chuke hai ki unko kya very mm -hmm. clear they are very very clear mm -hmm. it's a legal document ye jo syllabus hai, it's a legal document it's, us, I think one underestimate kiya jata hai, usme bohot uh, clues hai this examination ke liye. Or essay mein wo clearly bata dete hain, char paan cheeze hain jo ko karni hai, mm -hmm. write concisely, use effective and exact expression. Yes. Wo ye bhi bata dete hain ki multiple choice, multiple topics aayenge. Ye bhi bata dete hain wo ki ek nahi hoga, ek se zada ho sakta hai. Clearly bata dete hain. वो बताते हैं कि आपकी राइटिंग एग्जैक्ट होनी चाहिए आपकी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ आइडियाज अच्छा होना चाहिए ये भी लिखा है उसमें आपको एक ही टाइप का एक्से दिया जा रहा है और आपकी ये रिक्वायरमेंट्स हैं सो इज देयर अ वे टू डू ऑल ऑफ दीस अ टेम्पलेट ऑफ सम काइंड द आंसर इज यस देयर इज यू आई थिंक ऑटोमेटिकली डू इट व्हेन यू राइट एसेस हम सब करते हैं उसको किसी ने शायद ऐसे फॉर्मलाइज नहीं किया है एक जगह पे लिखा नहीं है अच्छे से ऑर्गेनाइज नहीं किया है तो वो मैंने करने की कोशिश करिए हम ऐसे टॉपिक को देखते हैं mm -hmm. और हम ये ढूंढने की कोशिश करते हैं कि व्हाट आर द टू थिंग्स दैट इट इज अबाउट फंडामेंटली या दो चीजों के बारे में होगा हमेशा आइडेंटिफाई करते हैं कि वो क्या है ओके okay. उनके बारे में सोचते हैं और ये बोलते हैं कि अब इन दोनों के बारे में ये टॉपिक क्या कह रहा है ओके okay. इस रिलेशनशिप में से इश्यूज क्या पैदा होते हैं बस वो इश्यूज आपके आने चाहिए ऐसे में ओके ओके जो उन दोनों के बीच में रिलेशनशिप है उसके इश्यूज अगर आ गए हैं उसमें अच्छे से ऑर्गेनाइज अच्छे से है लैंग्वेज ठीक है तो एक डिसेंट ऐसे क्रिएट हो गया और ये क्यों नहीं हो सकता सब में अभी 2020 मेंस द वन दैट वाज कंडक्टेड जस्ट रिसेंटली आई टुक द एंटायर पेपर एट ऑप्शंस वर देयर एंड ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ देम वाज एम अनेबल टू दिस काइंड ऑफ डीकंस्ट्रक्शन Okay. In fact, the last 10 year paper I analyzed, I have put that in my book and each one of them can be deconstructed like that. And this is a mental trick that you have to do with an advantage. Right. You don't have to have prior knowledge. You don't mm -hmm. have to have, you uh, have to be an expert on that topic. You need to talk about the issues with that topic implies mm -hmm. things which are there but this is again a very long discussion and yeah i've tried to put all of that in my book but the short answer to your question is yes it can be done and i believe that it should be done okay so this is a dis discussion which uh, we can cover in a different video in a separate video sure. yeah sure so a thoda different question ki ऐसी भी कुछ चीजें हैं क्या जो सिलेक्टेड कैंडिडेट्स दे डोंट वांट टू शेयर आर देयर एनी सीक्रेट्स एनीथिंग बिकॉज नॉर्मली जो भी सिलेक्ट होने के बाद इंटरव्यूज देते हैं कैंडिडेट्स वो लाइक दे टॉक ऑन सिमिलर लाइंस बट आर देयर एनी एनी सीक्रेट्स और एनीथिंग व्हिच दे डोंट वांट टू शेयर आई थिंक एवरीबॉडी हैज सम आई थिंक इनवेरिएबली यू विल फाइंड दैट Everybody has a few. 
but do they have some some of these in common i think one thing that they all have in common that they will share is that they do not expect the result that they got i think that's one okay mm-hmm. everybody tries to do their best kisi ka bhi exam bahut zyada acha nahi hota hai that's another uh-huh. whether or not they admit it exam hall se bahar nikal ke you feel like ye to nahi hua theek to और उसके बाद एक रिजल्ट आता है और आई थिंक वो रिजल्ट हमको इसलिए सरप्राइज करता है क्योंकि रिलेटिवली स्पीकिंग हमने बाकियों से बेटर किया होता है किसी का भी अच्छा नहीं हुआ होता आपका hmm. बुरा हुआ है उनका थोड़ा सा ज्यादा बुरा हुआ है ऑब्जेक्टिव स्टैंडर्ड आर कंसर्न आई थिंक दैट इज समिंग दैट इज नॉट एडमिटेड and it's a game of relativity obviously yes certainly it's a competitive exam the the entire marking is all relative uh-huh. there's a ranking system here and uh, these questions are not to be answered by a domain expert so by definition to syllabus hai unhone aisa banaya hai ki kisi ke paas expertise ho hi na it has been designed that way mm-hmm. everybody is more or less at the same level then mm-hmm. there are no experts of gs there is only gs you know so everybody will have to fight for the same kind of content but you need to make sure that you're doing relatively better than the rest that's what ultimately the result i think represents who did the least worst gets to be on the top right so moving on from your uh, preparation phase you got selected and uh, you went to lbs and double a in masuri how was the life like what was the feeling jab aapka selection ho gaya uske baad aap wahan pahunche how was the feeling i did not go to uh, labasna because at that year on that year there has there there was there were mega batches mega batches so what they had decided was that part of the batch will be divided and they will go to the police academy in hyderabad some will okay. go to the foreign institute uh, academy the uh, some will go to labasna they divided it like this but i didn't go to any of them because uh-huh. i i took a leave and i wanted to appear in the exam again and so so i didn't attend that foundation course but jo mujhe batchmates se sunne ko sunne ko mila hai aur jo log bolte hain wo batate hain ki bahut acha experience hota hai mm-hmm. you learn a lot you interact with your colleagues and peers and you build a very good network which uh, remains with you forever right and as far as the I feeling is concerned the primary purpose yeah. is networking definitely the feeling is of absolute you have no idea what you're getting into at that time no idea unless you have parents in the services or whatever you feel congratulated because everybody is asking you and they are all very happy that you've done something and uh, uh, you're very confused at the whole thing mm-hmm. and you you have to assume that kuch acha hi kiya hoga you know jo jo itna itna bola ja raha hai to mm-hmm. ultimately wahan ja ke pata chalta hai ki it, it's the beginning it's just the beginning just the beginning kuch hua hi nahi hai right so how is your life as an irs officer आप दिल्ली में पोस्टेड हैं एंड योर पोस्टिंग्स टिल नाउ आह इट्स बीन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू बी ऑनेस्ट इट्स अ वेरी यूनिक जॉब वेरी वेरी चैलेंजिंग आल्सो एट टाइम्स बट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इट इज लाइक यू आर आस्किंग कि मतलब इज इट वर्थ इट तो इट इज वर्थ इट इट इज वर्थ इट वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट रीजंस इज वर्थ इट बिकॉज इट इज लाइक ए मेंबरशिप इन एन एक्सक्लूसिव क्लब आपको एक ऐसी जॉब दी जाती है जिसमें आप गवर्नमेंट के अंदर काम करते हो उन वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट्स यू गेट टू सी ए कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट साइड ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यू गेट टू सी द गवर्नमेंट्स साइड ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड एज अ रिजल्ट यू गेट टू हैव ऑल दीज अदर एक्सपीरियंसिस विच नो बडी एल्स कैन हैव ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई वॉज पोस्टेड एट द एयरपोर्ट इनिशियली Mm. and my job no at chennai airport okay okay at, at chennai international airport and my job 
although it was a long job description uh-huh. main one of the main things was to curb smuggling gold smuggling okay okay so yeah. so i had no idea how to do this mm-hmm. even the training does not prepare you for real life situations mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you learn on the job mm-hmm. and, and i have to learn i was forced to learn mm-hmm. yeah yeah it's very interesting and very challenging also it, it's frustrating because you have to catch up very very quickly what time nahi aapke paas aapko fatafat karna hai jo karna hai and that is i think that is what really keeps you mentally agile challenged mm-hmm. and very stimulated aur bahut agar aapko if you are the kind of person who is curious exploratory mm-hmm. then i think you will enjoy it okay. you will enjoy it so what what was uh, where was your first posting it was in 2014 13 14 that was my first posting yeah okay chennai and chennai and okay. uh, that was one of the best and most interesting assignments i've had because uh, gold smuggling was at its peak at that time there had there was some tariff issue Mm-hmm. gold out uh, in foreign countries was cheaper than it was in india so it was being smuggled uh, mm-hmm. it's always happening uh, it's a fact of life but uh, during that during those periods i believe those 2 3 years i think there was a, a surge and then later the government equalized the rates so it reduced but okay. but people uh, always try to take advantages of mm-hmm. any loophole that they can get and um, so very- i was yeah yeah and it i think just part of human uh, um drive they are very creative people humans are very creative and very driven also so uh, in that drive they do good things bad things both right 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 so it's interesting to see when they do the bad things how they do it and so and uh, i mean your challenge is to stay one step ahead mm-hmm. but it also taught me that it had to do with poverty also the people who used to actually smuggle the gold mm-hmm. were not the people who were controlling everything they were just poor people who were yeah, yeah, yeah. given Chick- money to oh, yeah, yeah 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 just to do this and the and the real mastermind are c- completely different people they don't even come into the picture and the, so they, that is something they, yes, yes 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 uh, you 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 learn that very quickly and uh, then you realize that actually the reality is a lot more complicated than you thought and mm. it is not like you will be able to change the whole world right, right because you want to mm. so then as a result maturity also happens it comes mm. right so coming back to your uh, preparation did you uh, enroll yourself into any coaching yes i enrolled myself in all of them <laughs> because <laughs> i didn't know what i was doing i enrolled myself in as many as i could uh, mm. did they help yes to some extent were they enough no they were not enough mm. and i came to the conclusion that it was worthwhile to go and explore okay compulsory nahi hai bahut mm-hmm. it did not make the deciding change it gave me a boost uh, it it showed me my competition it showed me what i am up against mm-hmm. it also keeps you very very much um, in in discipline and i would say very much under discipline and motivation as well because you are in a competitive environment and the same thing that we just spoke about ki koi structure nahi hai is exam mein mm-hmm. that coaching gives you that structure Mm-hmm. okay there, okay there are tests classes to that was the advantage the content no it did not really help me because mujhe khud hi samajhna pada fundamentals kya hai right kya ho raha hai khud hi baith ke samajhna pada sochna pada to mujhe itne uh, is level tak samajh mein aaya ki main exam mein uske bare mein kuch kar saka content nahi mujhe laga ki uh, i don't think that that's what you should go to coaching for i think you should go to coaching to fix to fix the chinks in your armor okay you you first identify ye kuch aise kaam hai jo main outsource kar sakta hu mujhe outsource kar dene chahiye mere bas ke bahar hain inko seekhna bahut time consuming hoga fayda nahi hai coaching se mera time 
थर्टी फोर्टी परसेंट खत्म हो जाएगा ये इन्वेस्टमेंट इसीलिए कर, कर लेता हूँ बट पूरी तैयारी उन पे डिपेंड करके आई डोंट थिंक दैट्स अ रियली गुड वे टू गो नहीं बट बट वन प्लस पॉइंट इज दैट दे गिव स्ट्रक्चर टू योर प्रेपरेशन और जो कंपटीशन है व्हाट यू आर अप अगेंस्ट वो वाली चीज आई थिंक कोचिंग में बेटर प्लेस्ड डेफिनेटली और अगर आपको कंटेंट चाहिए तो दे गिव यू अ लॉट ऑफ कंटेंट इन फैक्ट प्रोबेबली टू मच कंटेंट टू मच कंटेंट अगेन इट्स अगर इफ यू आर शेलिंग आउट द मनी टू डू इट एंड यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग तो देन यू शुड मेक द मोस्ट ऑफ इट राइट एंड द वे द वे टू मेक द मोस्ट ऑफ इट इज ट्राई नॉट टू फॉलो द सिस्टम दैट दे आर पुटिंग यू थ्रू यू नो फिगर आउट वॉट यू नीड फॉर देम टू फिक्स फिगर आउट वॉट यू नीड which needs fixing which mm-hmm. you don't want to do on your own but which you need a professional coach to help you with right. and then get that from these guys i think that's the way to really approach it uh but i think that in this exam there's such a lot of confusion it's not at all clear what mm-hmm. to do how to begin that people i think don't go to coaching institutes in order for preparation they go for either encouragement yes. or they go for counseling i think you know mm-hmm. they go with a general question uh, without an agenda of their own their, their their basic question is what do i need to do to clear this exam kya karna hai mm-hmm. of course the coach institute has has an answer to that but right. is that answer the right one for you that is not guaranteed exactly और एक थोड़ा सेटिस्फेक्शन लेवल भी होता है कि ओके आई हैव एनरोल्ड माय सेल्फ इन अ कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट दैट मींस अब सीरियसली प्रिपरेशन स्टार्ट हो गई है ऑफिशियली यस डेफिनेटली दैट्स अ साइकोलॉजिकल इफेक्ट व्हिच आई मीन इट डजंट ट्रांसलेट इनटू रिजल्ट्स बट यू आर राइट फोमो आई थिंक इट्स फोमो फियर ऑफ मिसिंग आउट यस सो कंटेंट का आपने बोला कि कंटेंट अपने आप करना पड़ता है कंटेंट का तो रोल काफी मेजर रोल है अभी सोशल मीडिया पे वी सी अ लॉट ऑफ कंटेंट ऑनलाइन कंटेंट लॉट ऑफ पीडीएफ्स लॉट ऑफ मॉड्यूल्स स्टडी मॉड्यूल्स एंड सो हाउ शुड एस्पिरेंट्स फिल्टर इट आउट या दैट्स अ रियली गुड क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ थिंग्स हैव रियली चेंज्ड इन यूपीएससी प्रिपरेशन इट्स नॉट एन एग्जाम व्हिच इज गोइंग टू डिफाइन बुक्स फॉर यू that's a critical difference between college school and this this particular exam anything is included and ultimately you end up going to the internet mm to find answers right right and in the internet there is no end to the amount of information and data you can get including the content which these coaching institutes will put out mm-hmm. so how do you filter this that's that's a brilliant question i think it has to be done in a very logical practical way i just i as recently wrote an article about this so i would say divide the type of content that you are consuming mm-hmm. don't worry about the sources right don't worry about this channel or that channel ya to aap text consume kar rahe ho aap pad rahe ho ya book se ya notes it doesn't matter either it's text or it's video there are only two types of content which you will be consuming largely speaking तो टेक्स्ट के दो या तीन सोर्सेस आपको डिफाइन करने हैं राइट सेम विद वीडियो हम अगर ये टाइप्स ऑफ सोर्सेस डिफाइन कर देते हैं अपने लिए हमारी आधी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हो जाती है इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग टू चैनल्स बिकॉज यू विल फाइंड वन थिंग इन वन प्लेस बट यू हैव टू गो टू अनदर प्लेस फॉर दर थिंग इट्स बेटर टू डिफाइन सोर्सेज एंड टेक्स्ट सोर्सेज मेरे एनसीआर टीज हैं ये कुछ स्टैंडर्ड बुक्स हैं इस एक्स वाई जेड कोचिंग के नोट्स हैं और ये ये है दैट्स इट मीन यू पुट अ स्टॉप टू इट ओवर देयर एंड एज फार एज द वीडियो इज कंसर्न यू राइज ओके दिस इज द पोर्शन आई एम गोइंग टू डू फ्रॉम वीडियोज एंड ऑन यूट्यूब यूल फाइंड लाइक एंडलेस कॉन्टेंट एंडलेस बट इट्स नॉट यूजलेस कॉन्टेंट इट माइट बी यूजफुल द इश्यू इज द फिल्टरिंग लाइक यू राइटली सेट so you get a hang of it as soon as you watch a video 5 to 10 minutes mm-hmm. if it's worth it i think you should not watch it in the first go don't watch it 
because just judge it for five minutes. If it's worth watching, then you save it in a separate playlist. Make a playlist on YouTube, mm -hmm. and you call it what you want. Current affairs ki alag, um, public administration ki alag, ethics ki alag. बहुत अच्छा अच्छा आपको content मिलेगा. Videos पूरे देखने नहीं हैं एक-एक घंटे के initially. Mm -hmm. ही judge करके save कर दो उसको. Let the compilation grow. फिर हफ्ते में एक बार या महीने में एक बारी just just harvest it. Find the ones which are worth. Delete the rest. Watch them. Okay. If you don't, then make notes. Or even as far as making notes is concerned, if you get subtitles or a trans transcriber, I mean you can get the entire text of the video with you. I think that's another useful thing to do. And the same, the same with textual sources. You have to limit the kind of content you consume. Okay. Okay. So, uh, how should one begin his preparation uh, after college just after college or while he or she is in uh, final year of college yeah because most of the aspirants they wish to start their preparation in the final year itself so what are your suggestions yeah that's another good question because most people do that and it's not clear how to begin i think you should divide the preparation into two two types of categories mm -hmm. one when you are acquiring knowledge right knowledge acquisition mm -hmm. this has got nothing to do with the exam this is just plain knowledge acquisition right this mein hum apna knowledge network bada rahe hain phaila rahe hain humko ye nahi pata hai ki hamare ko kahan jana hai broadly right. speaking hum hum we are not obsessing over the syllabus mm -hmm. we are doing a broad sweep of it the other is exam orientation i think in which you focus on the exam itself and forget mm. about the knowledge mm. reverse engineer the process reverse engineer these previous year questions see what they asked where they asked from why they asked it what do you need to know in order for you to have answered that correctly mm -hmm. when you look at previous year questions okay jaise jaise aapka exam pass aata rehta hai i think aap knowledge acquisition kam karke exam orientation bada do I think that's what right. you should do, and become obsessed with the exam. I think about six months before the exam, you should become absolutely exam oriented. Before that, uh, acquire that knowledge because उसके बाद आपको time नहीं मिलेगा. Okay. Do a broad sweep. Get those concepts. Understand the basics. They are going to help you because once you start preparing and you go topic to topic. I mean, if you don't go according to strategy, you go topic to topic. a topic is not just a topic you know that you you will have to memorize the details of it but you will also have to understand the narrative of it and the concept concept of it there okay. are two three other things that you have to do to a topic in mm -hmm. order for you to say ki now it is done i am done with this mm -hmm. the question that people don't ask is what exactly have you done in it you have understood the concept or have you understood the facts of it mm -hmm. have you done both If you have done both, okay, then maybe you are done. Right. And if after doing those, you are able to solve many other questions, okay, then you are really done. Because uh, what most people do is, jitna maine is cheez ka dekha ki they answer their what. Yeah. What is what this particular thing is all about? But they don't try to. Uh, they don't try to research for the why yes so this is one more important element ki why exactly. is also important and how is also important very After very uh, interesting that you mentioned that there's a uh, um very nice way to think about it and uh, mm -hmm. you you're talking about the why i i try to formalize this formula i call it the four why formula four why you ask four questions if you're dealing with a topic why is it important enough to be in the syllabus right if it is in the syllabus it mm. means that it has something to do with the larger scheme of things which mm. are important for india at the only reason it will be in the syllabus of the indian civil services mm -hmm. right right There's no other reason for it mm -hmm. e even even if that relationship is not direct and obvious there is something to it so you can look at it from that angle the first is so why is it important enough to be in the syllabus 
The second is why is it important for India specifically? So let's say, you know, in the syllabus, there is a portion in the syllabus, uh, which is world history. They talk about the American Revolution, French Revolution, World War One, two important events, all those things. On the first side, it doesn't appear to be relevant to India. Right. seemingly. But this exam is India. Ke mein hai, pura exam. Indian exactly. Civil Services ka exam is French Revolution, American Revolution. This is the syllabus. Because these important events that have values determined in India's foundation. Ki foundation ki. Liberty should be, human rights should be, they should be fundamental. These events are directly from our preamble. These events are the syllabus. Mein. Mm-hmm. Right. And then a question that we ki why is it important to my life? Why is it important to me personally? Ab, take for example, say in geography, you're doing geography. You're reading about earthquakes, right? Hmm. Earthquakes or something like that. I don't know. Uh, tectonic shift or plate tectonics or something. Continental drift. Anything. Why is it important to you? Try to stretch your imagination a little bit. An earthquake is not something which is directly impacting you now, but it can. Mm-hmm. It will impact you in very real ways if it happens. And the same right. goes for, for an El Nino. Say you um, are in a position, you get selected in the job, you're in a place where it's a high, heavily agriculture dependent. El Nino event mm-hmm. happens and it destroys a large portion of the produce or the harvest. What are you going to do? So. Everything has an impact. And once you start thinking about how it will impact me, how it can impact me, mm. then you approach it from a very different practical standpoint. And the UPSC is testing for this. You'll notice that in the question. They're constantly testing for this. That what does this person, this candidate, think about this topic and what inputs can they get for solving this issue? They're constantly asking this theme you'll find in mains exam. All throughout. So, uh, what's your advice for young aspirants? जो जो लोग अभी prepare करना चाह रहे हैं, start just करा है या कुछ ही time हुए, आपका एक expert advice? That's difficult to say because there are so many things to say. मेरी advice ये होगी, अगर if there was one advice that mm-hmm. I was going to give them. मेरे पास और कुछ बोलने के लिए नहीं अगर है एक चीज मैं बोल सकता हूं तो वो ये चीज होगी कि यूपीएससी का जो सिलेबस है वो एक लीगल डॉक्यूमेंट है उसको बहुत ही ध्यान से पढ़ो आप ये समझो कि जब यूपीएससी वो सिलेबस या नोटिफिकेशन निकालते हैं तो वो खुद को रिस्ट्रिक्ट कर देते हैं काफी हद तक वो उससे बाहर नहीं जा सकते हैं और Again, like I said, it's a legal document. So they stick to it very religiously and they do do that on all stages. They do that for prelims and they do that for interview as well. You know, and people have that mis- misconception that the interview is like an interrogation. But clearly clearly mentioned. Hai. Right. Do what the syllabus is asking you to do. Mm-hmm. and figure it out from there. If there was one thing that I would have to say to them, I would say this. Yeah. First step is to analyze syllabus. Syllabus ko hi sahi se pura study or analyze karke. Kyunki I think usme bhi baut sare keywords hai which, which can help aspirants going forward. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. So, main sabhi jo viewers honne bata dena chata hoon. Sir ki ek website hai becomingias.com आप वहां पे जाके सर ने काफी सारे आर्टिकल्स अच्छे आर्टिकल्स लिखे हुए स्ट्रेटजी से रिलेटेड राइटिंग स्किल्स एसे से रिलेटेड जीएस रिलेटेड जो कि काफी वैलिड हैं आप जब प्रिपेयर करते हो और आपको काफी पर्सपेक्टिव देंगे काफी तरीके से आई थिंक आपके बहुत सारे ऐसे डाउट्स होंगे जो जनरल डाउट्स होंगे व्हिच विल बी सॉल्व राइट सो विद दिस Sir, uh, I would like to thank you 
for giving like your to thank you actually you know no for having me it, thank you so much for having me on it and allowing me to talk about this stuff because i really enjoy this uh, entire process honestly speaking um, i never grew out of it the civil services mm-hmm. I, I, it was one of the best things to ever happen to me aur maine bahut shauk se kiya isko right maine iski taiyari bahut shauk se kari mujhe bahut maza aaya aur ab main isme wapas i am involved in it to some extent and i am very thankful that i am able to you know reach uh, all these aspirants through your channel which is fantastic by the way so mm. no thank you for having me actually yeah so aap sabhi log sir se contact bhi kar sakte hain i think aap इधर कमेंट्स uh, डालेंगे तो मैं सर का ईमेल आईडी वहां पे आई विल पुट इट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन और अदर कांटेक्ट मोर सो यू कैन कांटेक्ट डायरेक्टली विद सर सर ने जो पूरा मतलब इतना डिस्कशन हुआ उसमें एक चीज जो मुझे लगी क्यूरियोसिटी जो वर्ड था क्यूरियोसिटी व्हिच इज अंडर रेटेड और व्हिच इज मिस्ड बाय मोस्ट ऑफ द एस्पिरेंट्स सो यू हैव टू बी क्यूरियस आपकी काफी सारी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हो जाएगी राइट सो सर विद दिस वी आर एंडिंग दिस सेशन एंड आई एम श्योर दिस इज दिस इज जस्ट द बिगनिंग और हम ऐसे फ्यूचर सेशंस करेंगे एंड आई थिंक वेरी सून अगर हम ऐसे पे ऐसा एक सेशन करें जिससे कि काफी सारे एस्पिरेंट्स को ऐसे के पेपर में हेल्प मिलेगी ओके तो thank you sir thank you thank you so thank much thank you arvid thank you so much it was a pleasure thank you so much pleasure is all mine <laughs> thank you bye bye sir